Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session. Today I'll be talking about AWS Lambda and API Gateway. In this session, we will be creating a small EMI calculator using Lambda and API Gateway. So the architecture will be very simple. User will click on a link. It will invoke the REST API which is in API gateways and it will trigger Lambda. Lambda will run the code to calculate the EMI amount and will return the EMI amount in JSON format in a browser. It is as simple as that. So as I said, user will click on the link and we will pass the parameters for EMI calculation. It means that we will pass how much is the principal rate and tenor and lambda function will calculate the EMI based on that. So let's create this EMI calculator now. I am logging to my AWS management console. First, we will create one lambda function here. So go to service search box and search for lambda. Click on lambda. Click on create function. We will be creating from the scratch. So that's why I am selecting author from scratch. Okay, give a name. And the runtime we will be using Python 3.7. The reason is that the EMI calculation function, which I have written, it is in Python. But do not worry if you think that you don't know Python because it is a very simple code and I will tell you the purpose of each line of the code. Before going further, let me tell you where you will get the Lambda function code once you will be creating the same EMI calculator. So I will share the link in the video description below. But if you want to check in github.com slash AWS take guides, under AWS take guide, you will find a repository called script. Inside script, go to AWS, click on Lambda, and you will find this EMI calc.py. And if you open that, it is that function we will be using. So as I am not going in deep for how the Python code is written, but it is very easy to understand what it does. So as you see that we have imported JSON because ultimately we will show the EMI value in JSON format. Then first we will parse out the query string parameters. So in query string parameters, we will be sending principal rate and time these three parameters and then we have one EMI calculator method which I have written defined it below EMI calculator and once we get this EMI now we have to construct one response object so we are just constructing this response object in response object we have added principal rate time which were the parameters input parameters as well as the calculated EMI now construct HTTP response object. We are creating one response object over here. And in this response object, we are selecting status code 200. And in header, since it will be a JSON format, so that's why content type is application slash JSON. And in the body of this response object, we are adding this response object which we drafted over here and ultimately we are returning the http response object now let me go to the lambda so we were at this page i have given the function name selected the runtime at python 3.7 now choose or create an execution role i am keeping it as it is if you have any existing role for lambda you can select that or you can select this create a role with the basic lambda permissions click on create function it has created the lambda function with the basic default code now we will be copying this emi calculation code from here so it's simply i am just copying and pasting over here click on save so we have saved our lambda function and our lambda is ready and we are not defining any environment variables no tags basic settings as you see if you can click on this edit 
you will find that runtime we had already selected python 3.7 handler is in the method memory 1 to 8 mb is more than enough for us timeout it is by default 3 seconds i am just making it suppose 10 seconds for execution role as we have seen that i created the new role when creating lambda so that's why it has created this new role for this lambda function so i'm just clicking on save monitoring tool by default it is enable we are not adding any vpc mind it we are not adding any vpc over here file system we are not adding any file system we are not mentioning any concurrency configuration now just scroll up and let's and let's create api gateway search api gateway now in api gateway portal you will get multiple options choose an api type definitely we are going to create one rest api but in rest api there are two options one is private it is within a vpc since we are not using vpc so we are selecting this rest api click on build just click on ok and we will be creating this new api so i am just using new api not any example of api rest api is already selected now give a name api copy paste the same thing in description it is optional now let the endpoint type as it is in regional and click on create api it has created the api now go to action create one resource and in resource give a resource name emi click create resource now create method as i told you that we will be passing the parameters and we will get the emi calculated so our method will be get method and now in get method setup we have this integration type to select whether it is lambda function http mock aws services or vpc link in this tutorial we will be integrating this api gateway with the lambda function we have created so i will keep it selected use lambda proxy integration i will select it keep the lambda region us east one because i have created the lambda region in us east one and then now the lambda function is lambda emi calc which i created okay use default timeouts click on save you are about to give api gateway permission to invoke your lambda function okay now our method of execution is ready click on action and deploy api once you click on deploy api it is asking for deployment stage yes create a stage so stage name i am just giving it as dev suppose you can add the stage descriptions as well click on deploy and it has deployed so now our api gateway is ready let's click on get method and after clicking on the get method you will get invoke url and copy this url remember that if you click on dev so you will get the invoke url till dev but actually your api url should have the method also included so click over the get method and copy this url i'm opening one new tab and pasting over it now we have to pass the required parameters to calculate emi let's go back to our lambda function in our lambda function as you see that we have these three parameters to pass p r and t p as principal r as rate and t as time so we have to pass these three parameters so let's go back and question mark p as principal so suppose principal is 10000 and r as rate so suppose rate is 2.8 and t as time so suppose time is 10 10 as yes now click on enter now we have got the emi value in json format and we have 
PRT which is principal rate time as well as EMI also and just change the value over here so I am now making it 45,000 and more than that 450,000 and just clicking on enter it is calculating as per that so just in few minutes you have learned how to create one API gateway and lambda function how to integrate lambda function with API gateway and create a very simple solution to calculate your EMI thank you for watching this tutorial if you have any question please write in the comment box below I will share the Python script in the description box below if you like this video please subscribe this YouTube channel to know about our upcoming tutorials hands-on session on AWS technologies as well as our online training sessions. See you in our next session. Thank you.